Well, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Still Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you today on this fine Tuesday morning. And, of course, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house. As I always tell you, uh, this show always streams through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Of course, welcome to Y in the Morning. Today, let's have uh, an interesting discussion here. And what we want to talk about is matters concerning relationships on this fine Tuesday morning. And specifically, abuse in relationships. Mm. How can you fight such kind of things? fighting abuse, curbing abuse. We need to have a discussion about you. Have you been abused in your relationship? What are you doing about it? Are you afraid of seeking counseling of, or seeking help? Are you afraid or ashamed of what happened to you because of the abuse and, and the trauma that you went through? Today, we want to help you here, right here on this particular discussion because this show is for you and to help us in this discussion i am with nchabere murioki he is a psychologist and a counselor welcome my brother thank you how are you feeling today i'm calm i love that <laughs> <laughs> that's the best answer yet i've never received that answer okay. how are you feeling i'm calm i, I love that I you love addressed that. feelings and uh I went straight to the feeling. Feelings uh -huh. don't have explanation. Wow. Yeah. Most people say, how are you feeling? I'm, I, I'm fine, thank you. I'm That's not a feeling. That's not a feeling. Because you're giving a sentence. A feeling should be either calm, joy, happiness, sad, hungry, tired, thirsty. <laughs> I love that. So, ladies and gentlemen, even as we talk about these uh, particular discussion, abuse in relationships, engage with us. The hashtag, as always, is uh, Y in the morning. Tag me at Ram Maguko, which is my handle. The official station handle is at Y254 channel. That's where you can be able to engage with us. And feel free to also let us know where you're watching us from, okay? And, of course, we shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this uh, discussion right here on Y in the morning. Abuse in relationships. Jabere. Yes. Sir. You've handled these cases so many times, I believe so. Now, let's start from the root. Okay. From the root. Because I believe that for you to handle a problem, you must address it from the root. That's actually what's the work of a psychologist. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. now, we don't treat, we don't address, we don't uh, intervene mm -hmm. on the symptoms. Yeah. We look at the root. Once we course. sort the cause, mm -hmm. the problem goes forever. What is it that leads to abuse in a relationship? Let's start from the root cause. Before someone finds themselves there, someone asks themselves this question, how did I find myself here? How did I end up here? How in, did I end up in an abusive relationship? What is the root? I will start first of all with the abuser, mm -hmm. and then I'll run to the abused. Okay. We all grow or we all grew in an environment. The environment that we grew in mm. determines the behavior. Remember, mm. behavior is learned. Yes, it's learned. All behavior mm. is learned. Now, when we learn, the greatest and the easiest way to learn a behavior is through observation. Mm. If you have seen children, they are very observant. Yeah. A daughter will watch the mother do a lipstick and uh, do a thing and by the time the mother comes back the whole place is colored mm. as the child was trying to, to apply role lipstick. model <laughs> yeah. what was modeled to her mm -hmm. now that is the first spot did i grow in an abusive environment myself mm -hmm. That's the abuser. Mm -hmm. So I know the best way to be hard, the best way to express myself in this form of engagement is to use force, for example, is to demean the other person, for example. Mm. It can be as subtle as you may think. 
that's what I went through. That's what the environment that I grew up exactly. in. Exactly. So it, it, it that, became a normal thing in my life. That is one. So when I will relate, I will connect mm. with another person who was equally abused, who grew in that environment. We attract our own. So, so is it possible that we'll find two people who grew up in abusive environments yes. getting along? Not is it possible. Mm. It is the order of the day. It is the order. So, 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 so um, let me get you very clearly here. You're saying two people who have both grown up in abusive environments can get along as opposed to one who grew up in an abusive environment and one who didn't. The Which pair? chances ah. of, let me give an example, me and you. Yeah. Of course, we are male, so let them not take that this other route of discussion. We are just using for, of, of for course, this purpose. Please, people. Kindly. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Kindly. Let's assume you're the lady. Mm -hmm. I grew up seeing my father mm. abusing either mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. emotionally, verbally, or psychologically, my mother. All right? Mm -hmm. When we relate, start relating with you, and chances are you grew up where uh, emotional and all these abuses in relationship were not the issue. And people discuss issues. issues. People talk about We problems. will not go far. We won't go far. We won't go far because mm -hmm. you can't condone abuse. Abuse. It was not a part of your living. I will try to shush you up. Mm -hmm. I will try to muscle you up. But I will refuse you to be shushed. You will stand up. Yes. You will tell me off. Now, abusers fear. They are the most weak people I've ever met. <laughs> yes. In <laughs> what you, so. they are the weakest of creatures, of people, or human beings. Abusers are weak. Very weak. You only need to learn them. So they can't stand you're standing up. They will label you. Now, I will label you mm. as a woman. Mm -hmm. When Kicho Manga, mm. you're arrogant, mm -hmm. you're proud, you've got money, ah, Miss Wesi, and then we will cut off. It is, is it? not because uh -huh. of the things I'm trying to label you. It's because your environment and my environment can't sink. Mm. We attract our own. Now, Check our relationships. Uh, That's, I deal with them like every day. Now, now, now Chepere, you've, you, you've said one very strong statement that can make someone think and think a lot. You said we attract our own. Yes. You attract what and who you are. That's what you've said. I can repeat that louder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Th th then yeah. If someone finds themselves in an abusive relationship, they did not grow up in such kind of an environment, uh, an environment. But this is their husband, and this is someone that they have accepted as one of, 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 of themselves. And, 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 and I didn't get you well. They didn't grow in an abusive environment. They did not grow in an abusive en environment. Uh -huh. This lady has accepted this man and believes she uh, th th that she will make him change he will change he one day he will stop or or she believes that it's just a sign of love mm. but he it doesn't mean he ha he hates me mm. he loves me mm. but she finds herself in that position and at some point there are those days that she hates the fact that this man abuses her does it mean that she deserves what she's getting because you've said you attract who you are. I will disqualify the word deserves. There's no one who deserves violence. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Then I will go mm. to the other word that you said. Yes. I will change the person. Yes. Get it from me today. It is impossible to change a human being. Mm. We... Yeah. Yeah change mm. or we encounter change because it is a thing within and around us. For example, mm. 
Mm-hmm. I come from a community, the Meru community. We don't, men don't enter kitchen. Men don't enter the kitchen? Tafadali. <laughs> However, in some instances, uh-huh. when mom was not in, Dad, in a silent way, he would go and cook for us and do a few things for us. Even though he does not accept. It is very easy for me to do equally the same. Mm-hmm. Now, when I hear people in relationships say it is okay, it's a matter of time I will change it. Mm. They walk back into therapy as couples. And when I listen to the problem, I will mention the simplest problem, not abuse. Mm-hmm. I will only say alcohol. Mm-hmm. She finds me drinking mm-hmm. and she says she will change. change. It becomes the cause and the main source of their disputes many years after. Mm-hmm. When they come into therapy, I walk back to the root. I am simply left with one question to the couple. When you started, was this a problem? Yes. So how come now it's a major problem than when you started? Mm -hmm. That's when you had a chance to run away. Mm -hmm. That's when you had a chance to stop it. (laughs) So it Mm. grows. So when an individual notices a problem, in the start of their relationship Mm -hmm. and that person decides for the sake of love Mm -hmm. let me do this we will change along the line and you ignore it exactly i am here to inform them Mm -hmm. they are in for a rude shock a rude one a very rude shock these things you see them Mm -hmm. these things address them before the relationships get to a point that you can't turn back. You can't turn back. And that's the point where you say, I do. Yes. Sometimes we are here, we are 20 years in marriage, Mm -hmm. Uh, children are involved, a lot of things are involved. Um, I am counseling so many people in divorce journey. Wow. I can tell you, mm. I have met painful things. But separation through divorce is painful. No one, no one wants to go through yes. that. Yes, and the magnitude of that pain does not only affect the husband and the wife. Children, uncles, aunts, relatives, in-laws, everybody, friends, even young people. There are people who look up at you. Yeah. It's so, so painful. Before we get there, Mm -hmm. sort things, say no, run. And the joke in the market is Muriferan. If you can, (laughs) run when there is time. (laughs) Muriferan. Run. My brother, you're saying that, you see, we are still talking about the root. Yes. That's where we still are. Yeah, that's where we are. The root. Before we come to all these other things. Before we come, let's talk about the root. And, and this is where you will solve your problems. If you're watching today, this is where you'll get a solution before this thing hits you, before poverty knocks at your door. <laughs> I made you laugh there. I'm looking at the root cause. One, don't think you will change him. To look at the background. Very important. Now, sometimes you may not know the environment someone grew up in. And uh, you may not be able to establish whether they have abusive tendencies. I disagree. Go you on. disagree? 100% I disagree. Go okay, on. okay. Let, Go me, on. Let, let me proceed. Okay, all right. You, 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 you'll tell me about that. Mm. There are people who say that I never knew he was like this. I never knew he was like that. And, and they say, this person has changed. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm, I, 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 I want you to address. W- what is it that someone missed? Is there, is, is there a step they missed that you, you, you don't know something about them and then you realize that, oh, Kume, this is the kind of person that I'm married to? Mistake number one, 
Mm. People dating and people getting into relationship. We want, first of all, to enter into a relationship. And we want to. Mm -hmm. Once we enter into this relationship, we are at a position that we are not just knowing each other, mm -hmm. but we are at the center of it. We are specializing. I will explain. Okay, okay. When two people meet, it is not a business of meeting today and tomorrow we are living tomorrow together. Mm. There are processes. It's a journey. It's absolutely. And this journey is not a two people journey. It has not been, it will not be. No, I think not only uh, in Kenya maybe. <laughs> it involves parents, yeah. it involves uncles, it involves other people. Yes. A now, community. Yes. Now, I will accept. I am a young person. Mm -hmm. I am in my 25. I am in my 27. I have met you, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You are 25. We are all young. There are some small little things that may pass me. Mm -hmm. But the moment I introduce you mm. to my auntie, my senior auntie, she may ask a simple question mm -hmm. that will shed light on our identities exactly yeah no one came from nowhere everybody has a root mm -hmm. that is why it is important for us to involve other elder people friends not that Se you not, serious not, friends. Not that you keep it a secret. No, it isn't. It will not remain long as a secret. Mm. So, when we start this journey, there are things that may happen. And I'll give a very small example. Maybe you are meeting your uncle, your relative, or a friend who is very close or older, and you, you were with your partner, your friend, I mean, your girlfriend, and you are here. The other person asks you, why mm. did I see so-and-so behaving that way? Yes. That's something to make you stop, mm. slow down, and get to know. Mm -hmm. So the question of I didn't know, they were not like this, will be exposed. Mm. Now, the problem is we start we specialize, specialize becomes now we are husband and wife, we've been living together. And uh -huh. by the time we go to say, mm. is we are telling them, you have only one option mm -hmm. to accept us to marry. We have been together for the last two years. And because it's a do or die situation, others even threaten their, uh, their, their people, mm. then you're given the chance to marry. And when you enter into it, you find. Now, are, are you saying that you need a third eye sometimes for yes. you to discern the kind of person you are engaged with? We are a mirror to everybody. You are a mirror to somebody. I am a mirror to somebody. No one sees themselves. We portray ourselves to people. And they speak what they see about us. Mm -hmm. So someone may pick something very critical that you have not never up. seen about the other person and if you follow it up you realize oh, shit okay let's slow down first you may find people and i know this are very controversial statement i'm about to make that uh, in their family are certain diseases and you get into Mm -hmm. You need to go in knowing, I am ready for this. That this this is what we will get. Uh -huh. And these are the chances I have chosen. I have decided. Now, let's take it a notch up, uh, a, a notch higher. This particular lady knows that this man can beat me up. She knows that this man can slap me anytime anytime mm -hmm. the wanasema mkono ni mwepesi sana say that again eh? 
she knows that this man, if pushed to the corner, mm -hmm. will scratch you. But now she says that is just who he is. Mm -hmm. She knowingly gets into that relationship. Or oh, this man knows, and, 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 and I'm very careful because I know gender issues are also going to take a, a, a role here. I'm very careful even when I, when I ask this question because there are abusive women too. Yes, they are. So this man knows that this woman, if pushed to a corner, and as I magia majimoto. Anytime. <laughs> when you get into an abusive relationship knowingly, mm -hmm. What do you do to bring calmness there? And what do you do when problems arise that might make you end up being beaten and hurt? Okay. I knew, or this person knew, male or female. Yes. When you're in such a relationship, you are always walking on eggshells. Mm. Always. Always. You know, if I cross here, this is what I will get. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, because you knew, drink your cup. Yeah. You knew You it. chose. You chose it. And you knew that I am willing and ready to live with this. Meaning, there are spaces you can't dialogue together. Mm -hmm. Meaning, there are moments you can't be able to stop some actions. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you can't say no, and you're not to be respected, and this is on both, both, ends. both ends. Then, because it was a choice, it becomes very simple. Live with it. Live with it. Now, you also asked, how do they resolve problems, problems or mm -hmm. conflicts? Mm -hmm. One of them is you keep begging the other person. You cannot call out the abuser. Should not. You ca you but you know. It's a, it's a taboo. You something. know yeah. what you shall get. <laughs> Utamwagiwa majimoto. Utafungiwa inje. My God. You know, you can't get home past 6 p.m. So if you know that this is an abusive person, avoid some discussions. Yes. Avoid doing some things. Because you will pay the cost. And you knew. And you chose. Now, that gets to a point... Mm. The unfortunate thing, it is not guaranteed and it can't be sustainable for a long time. So if you're not yet married to that person mm -hmm. and you know this is the position that you are in, mm -hmm. leave that relationship. Absolutely. Run. When you can. And if you're married to that person? Eventually. The abused will get tired. Because you can't be doing this avoidance, this cat and mouse thing. Come on. Eventually. You'll get tired of running. Exactly. And the day you cross the barrier, you will get what you know that you'll be, you will be beaten thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Now, when that can't be sustained, mm -hmm. the only option is the divorce, cases that are too high, and now separation walks in. And like I said earlier, then you affect other people. And children are the great casualties yeah. of this business. Yeah. So it is, an, it is, I can't advise anyone. Mm. If you know this is the issue, I can't advise anyone to join an abusive relationship even for a microsecond. Don't. Don't. If you know you also come, maybe let me point out at this. If you know you come from an environment or a space that you grew up in an abusive 
environment. Mm. The first business that you need to do is to seek therapy, is to seek help, mm. is to seek intervention. Now, is, as, as, as you seek that, do you seek it before you get before. into our or during? Before. And I used a word, mm. if you are aware that <laughs> you come uh. from this kind of a family. You must be aware. You must be. And we know our family, we are Isituanga. Mm. Our family, we are drunkards. We know. Mm. Our family, no one is married. Yeah. Our family, we don't stay in the marriage. We know these things, but we take them lightly. We, and, and, and sometimes we, we, we see them as, oh, it's no just more. normal. It's part, it's part of it. That is what I'm saying. Mm. When you see this, you also hear people saying, um, our family, we are very possessive. That's, that's an abuse. You need to be free. I don't need to come to the show and my partner needs to be seated there so that she can, she can approve or she can watch over me. And so she feels secure. Exactly. Mm. So when all these things are key to you, the best thing that you need to do is to seek help before even you enter into the relationships. Because if I come from that, it will manifest itself in the relationship and it will affect the relationship. It will affect. Yes. Okay. <coughs> wow, wow. So I have so many questions and, 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 I'm, and, and I'm asking, for a person who is abusive, they want to change. Can they? They want to, you, 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 you find this scenario where a woman f is being told by the man that I did not want to beat you. Sitaki kukupiga. And the man says that I am willing to go for counseling so that I can handle my, my, my issues. So that I can know how to treat you better. That's a tricky one. Now that they are into, into their marriage, they are into their relationship, and the abuse has taken place, and the person says they are willing, they mm. want to work themselves out of where they are. Yeah. Yes, it is doable. Mm -hmm. But I you said it's tricky. Yes, it's very tricky. Mm. It has to involve a lot of work. The abuser must demonstrate to the therapist or to me if they came to me that the parameters and the structures that we put into place so that they can be able to start changing the land behavior into a new land behavior mm. because behavior is land, mm. relant and unland for another one to be land, then they must be willing kill the past and get born to this other one. The worst thing and the most, and that's why I said it's very tricky. To our minds are used to patterns and it is quite some work mm -hmm. to stop the pattern. So you must be alive to the fact that I want to transform myself from my past. In a scale of 10, mm -hmm. maybe two or three. Can work. Can work. That's why I said it's tricky. It's not <laughs> simple. So that's why I said, if it, uh, we started the journey before you got married, that could have been a little bit better. Mm. But when you are into it, you have to be restrained well. You have to work through yourself, not the abused. The abuser has to work through themselves with the work of now the therapist or the counselor, apa kwa hapa, for them to be able. They must understand what triggers me, what's my problem, why do I do it, when do I do it, how can I run away from the triggers. When now we get there, now that's the time I start dealing 
with the abused. Now, let's talk about the abused. I mean, the abuser still. Not, it has never happened in this relationship where this woman was slapped or beaten. It has never happened. Okay. And every time, of course, arguments come, arguments go, it has never been physical. Mm. But one day, something happened. And the man raised his hand mm. and slapped this woman. One day, something happened. Let's talk about this. Now the woman is shocked. Hey, leo ni napigwa. Sijawai pigwa. Tangu tukwe na uyu mtu. Let's talk about that. Cool. <laughs> My advice, the lady needs to seek therapy immediately. Mm -hmm. So that I, as a therapist, I can be able to establish is it a one-off is it a volcano that has gotten to the right time to erupt? Mm -hmm. Is it that uh, it is a behavior that has been in the unconscious? It has been dormant. And time is ready mm -hmm. for it? Or it is just that you are at the war? When I establish those things, then the one who hit the abuser needs to be ready to also face therapy so that I can go back in line and get because it is not just, not just a coincidence. It's not just, Did just you, a coincidence. Have mm -hmm. you ever, mm -hmm. are you surrounded by friends, people, environment, things that make you feel it is okay if and it's the most common question i ask the abuser if you are given you are equal mm. and given the same environment pushed to the same level mm. would you have slapped them let me put it better i'm so annoyed with you we are men and you've pushed me to the wall and I have slapped you. Let me, let, let, let me ask you, Jabere. At what point should you distinguish between just some conflict that took place, it was an isolated case, and abuse? Because maybe they, they, they just, you know, they, it just got intense, and they don't always get physical. And at this point, it became physical. I'm but that's not the normal. I'm the, posing the, the, a the, question to you. Yes. Do abusers, either male or female, mm -hmm. get eaten issues and times with other people, not their partners? Do they? Well, that's, that's, that's good. I, I believe it's with their partners that they should be getting. Let me put it this way. Yeah. You are my friend. Mm -hmm. We are doing a business and the bis something went wrong and we have a serious eaten argument yeah would it have added mm -hmm. into physical okay okay if yes how often because also it is important for us to realize it is a case of a weak and a stronger individual if it is my equal who I know I slap you you will slap me back how fast would I have done it? Mm. That's the question I'm posing. Okay. So are, are you beating them because you know that they cannot beat you back? Exactly. Could <laughs> be. That is the point. Okay. So when I establish all those things, then that is when I can be able to say, true, it is what you're saying. For but if it's a case whereby you have slapped your partner, Mm. You've punched them because of anger. Would you have punched your boss because you were annoyed with him? You wouldn't. If you wouldn't, then it's not a case of anger. It's a case of strong, weak engagement. Should we term that as abuse? 
Yes, it is. Because I know I am stronger. You've answered well. If it were your boss, you could not have slapped them. Now, I want us to move to uh, yet another group, uh, 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 another angle of this discussion here. And I want to talk about the abused. Yep. You've addressed the abuser. Let's talk about the abused. There has to be that recovery process that they, they, they are going through. And of course, mm. as a psychologist, you've, you, you've taken people through that, that, that process. For somebody who has been abused, how can they heal? Unfortunately, most times, mm. when you are with the abuser, healing becomes almost impossible. What do you mean when you say when you are with? Are you, are you, are you saying when you live together exactly. or if you meet seasonally exactly. eventually? Exactly. So you should avoid meeting them? It's the easiest and the best way to deal with the problem. And sir, so I said, it mm. would have been better to deal with the problem before the relationship was because it has other things involved into it. Simple. You come to the rapid today. Man, mm. and we walk a journey. You feel energized, encouraged. You see your mistakes. You are ready to, to, to keep off. And you walk home. Before six, Sababu, past six, Ulikuwa wapi na malaya wenzako. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you walk in and she sniffs you. Kama kuna perfume. Uh, <laughs> come on, ame iskia. Ame iskia. And you, usinindanganyo ulikuwa job. Mm -hmm. Hebu niambia ni ngombe gani ulikuwa na ayo. Ini ni kukashati, kwa shati yako. <laughs> you are coming from therapy. You are ready to start a different journey. Give me the chances of you starting that journey. There. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Won't happen. And we meet once a week. And for the next six days, you are at a space where you are under pressure. So what does that mean? When I say that, it's sometimes very, very difficult uh, to help someone who is still in the abuse. And that's why we request, if it is possible, when we discover they are together, mm. the abuser to also attend therapy. Most of the time, mm -hmm. they don't want. Most of the time, the abuse to come in secret our taki kujulikana. Mm. Yani ulianda kuongea vitu sa nyumba yetu kwa mwanaume mwingine. Hebu niambie. Mnasema nini? What relationship is that with that man? Mm. Yani mlikuwa kwa room pamoja. Mlango ulikuwa umefunguliwa ama ulikuwa umefungwa? Do pekini. you realize <laughs> the thing has been turned around? Yeah. The ant has been the anted. My goodness. And they tell you we can solve our issues. No, kiongea sansi, gine na kubangia mesa. How can we solve? The point is clear. Mm. It's a bit, a bit difficult to address the problem when it is ongoing. You heard me say earlier, it takes a lot of energy for the abuser to turn around. A lot of deliberate. Uh, moves a lot of self counsel to turn around as an abuser. So, yes, <laughs> it can work. Mm. However, it is hard work. When the abused is willing to work and the abuser is not. It's not really. Yes. It, it, it has to be a journey that they both yes. need to take part in. Very. And that's before even you say something. I know I could be talking to many young people right now. Mm -hmm. It is important for them to seek premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. Very, 
very important. The, and I'm not trying to, to stop the one they go to church. They still have to do that. But they need not less than three months of constant counsel. This is where I will help them see mm. and ask questions. Do you realize your partner has got anger issues? And then you tell me yes. And then I pose questions. Are you ready? Suppose it erupts while you are in marriage. Are you ready to deal with? And if you say yes, I am okay because I brought it to you in awareness. Uh, I want us to take a short break. And then after this break, this is a discussion that you really need to keep on engaging with us. Are you in an abusive relationship? After this break, as I was mentioning, let's talk about how can I get out of an abusive relationship? Okay. Getting out is a problem here. Yes. It's a big, big problem. It's how, how can they get out and what happens yeah. after they are out? Yeah. Is that so? Thank you. We, we yeah. will walk into it. We walk into that. After yes. this break, we are talking about abuse in relationships. Keep engaging with us. We're taking a short break. We'll be back. This is why in the morning.